So I'm back for one more game. Maybe you watched the uh, last one with Detroit uh, losing to St. Louis. Kind of got a sour taste in my mouth. Um, this game is going to be Winnipeg at Dallas. Um, Winnipeg, I believe this would be their last season in Winnipeg. Uh, 21st overall, Dallas 16 overall. Um, let me see, let me check the standings here. Dallas six points, Winnipeg's got four. Dallas is tied for the last playoff spot. So uh, Winnipeg's just outside of it. They need the win, Dallas needs the win. I need the win. Um, we got Darcy Wakalucks, the uh, starting goalie. Okay. We got Madonna's on top line with uh, Gagne, Trent Klatt. And we got the Hatcher boys. There's Darian, Kevin, Greg Ludwig on uh, top line. So that's uh, your starting line for Dallas. Can't really. I know Solani is on Winnipeg still. Um, don't really know who else is on their top line, but we're using Dallas today. Hopefully, we get a W. I need to get back on the board, and I'm going to the penalty box. That only took 20 seconds. Today is not my day. I can tell you. Well, at least I'm not losing yet, but you know. Scored one goal in uh, two combined games earlier today, so you know what? Hopefully, we can get a W. Got to play a full 60 minutes, get two points. Look at that! I'm all, I'm short-handed. I'm just I'm using defensemen to walk around everybody. That shouldn't happen. Look at that! I don't know who 14 is, but he's. Got some wheels. Again, I probably should have checked the full roster. <laughs> okay, Mike McDonough scores shorthand. Nice. Nice. There we go. I'm sure it's a uh, well known trivia. Mike McDonough played 1,499 games. Uh, it could have played one more if it wasn't for Mr. Babcock. Coach Babcock uh, held he scratched him. Trying to think of who uh, I think Winnipeg's goalie would be Shoveled Day, maybe at that point. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think who's on this uh, Jets team. Like I said in uh, the Chicago uh, video, some of these guys' kids are playing. I'm pretty sure Thomas Steen, you know, his son's playing in the NHL. Madonna. I mean, for all you 80s and 90s kids out there, growing up, Team USA, like, wasn't, oh, there's Salami's going to the box. Like, Mike Madonna, he was like, he was huge, you know? He was in the Mighty Ducks movie. Him and, uh, ah, who was the other guy? can't think of the other guy's name, but, you know, he had a couple lines in the movie. Told, told uh, Coach Bombay that he thought he became a farmer. <laughs> Luckily, he was better at hockey than he was at acting, so. Then again, he's been in more movies than I have, so who am I to say? Judge actors. Uh, I got a penalty. Grant Ledyard. He's a D-man. He played for a while. We used to have uh, these sim hockey leagues, so like I knew these 
these players inside and out back then. You know, where you uh, get on the AOL chat, you'd make trades, you do, you know, we'd simulate the seasons. You basically would be the GM, but man, like you had, like we, we knew all these guys. So Winnipeg's on power play now, thanks to my penalty. Oh, and there it goes. Oh, Lexi Jamna is on this team. I think this would be right before he was traded for Ronick. It's funny, a lot of these, um, you know, Sega and the Nintendo era games, they kind of play this. I mean, <laughs> I say that, oh, it's a $60 roster update, but it kind of is true. Like, they all pretty much play the same, you know. 94 introduced. Uh, was able to combine team logos and players. Oh, put it home. You know, it was the first game EA Hockey um, had team team logos and uh, nicknames. And then the next year was city locations, no nicknames, no logos, but they had the players. And then 94 was able to put them all together. Oh, we got penalty shot coming up. Another penalty shot today. No, oh, we've got one one after two. Fairly even game, I would say. Maybe, maybe you disagree. Maybe you think I'm not playing that great, which, I mean, I never think I play great. Which I guess I should be winning if I'm using the better team. Dude just bounced off the boards to center ice. Oh man. I wish we could have followed him. I just saw him at the very top of the screen. And for some reason we're playing Hava on the Gila. I, I don't know. There's one of them, uh my buddy, so I've been playing, the, well, not playing this game for 25 years, but, you know, I picked up this game in late 95 when it came out, and my buddy was playing against me, he was, uh, well, we were playing at the Ducks Arena, they start playing Yo-Ho from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and I'm thinking, I'm like, he's like, why are they playing Pirates of the Caribbean, and I said, oh. I don't know, and I'm like, oh, you know what? It must be a Disney thing um, that I never picked up on after all these years, so. It's going by a quick game. So, it looks like we're heading to overtime. Oh, Solani just got wrecked. Um... So basically, I mean, tiebreaker in my season is head-to-head. Uh, -head. But, oh, no, we're not going to overtime. Damn it. To Chuck. He's got kids in the NHL. Well, anyway, like I was saying, um, since there's no overtime wins, that I can't believe I lost with seven seconds. You've got to be kidding me. Brent Thompson, star of the game. Um... So overtime wins are worth a little bit less, and you get if you lost in overtime, you get a little, you know, bump. Um, not that I anticipate any of that happening. Um, crazy tiebreakers should just be decided head to head for the most part. But um, the Jets beat the Stars. 
you got your scoring summary. I blew a one nothing lead to lose with seven seconds to go. So, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. <laughs> uh, we'll play again another time. Take it easy.